G'day everyone, welcome back to Fix It In Post. My name is Nick and today we're going to go through something that has been requested before, um, but I've never got around to, but I thought I might actually bite the bullet and do it, is uh, character rigging in After Effects. Uh, this is not an easy thing to go and do. It took me a bit of trial and error to basically figure out how to do it. Um, but I have a method of doing it. It's probably not the best way and I'm not the most amazing animator either, but I can get you that character rig and hopefully uh, after that, you'll be able to do some amazing things with it as well. Um, there's a website in the description that you can probably go and check out um, from Doodoof, which is a really great uh, script if you want to get your characters rigged. Um, I do a lot of it manually as well, but for certain things, in this walk cycle in particular, I basically didn't use any IK. I uh, rigged everything um, and then just used uh, the rotations of the parts to get a better walk cycle, at least for me, for walk, for walk cycles at least anyway, that's a lot easier for me to do. I find using the IK is a little bit cumbersome, um, but using, using the IK script is really good for things like... Uh, when they want to talk and stuff like that, it's really, really good or, uh, having conversations. Um, that being said, let's just dive into it. It's a pretty long tutorial guys. So sit back. This is going to be broken into quite a few parts. So hopefully by the end of it, you'll be able to rig your character and, um, get started. So we're going to jump straight into Photoshop first, um, because I think that's probably the best place to start. So, uh, we'll just stop this first and, um, let's jump straight into Photoshop. All right, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to design a, uh, a few parts. And so I'm going to actually name, we're going to start with the head, obviously, because that's probably the easiest thing to do. Um, now you don't have to do this in Photoshop. You can easily just, you can just as easily do this in, uh, do the same thing. Um, design all the parts in After Effects, which is something I have done before, but in this particular case, if you want to go do that, you can. Otherwise, um, just stay here. You can skip this section and just design the parts you want. But just keep in mind the layers you need to create. Um, so we'll start with the head first. Um, I haven't really got an idea for what this character should look like, apart from just putting it down a few squiggly lines. But we'll just, hopefully something will come to me. <laughs> He's got a bit of a, we'll just keep it fairly simple. Um, I don't like the back of his head. Anyway, I know you're not here to watch me draw, but you get the idea. Um, I might speed this up just so. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the head. Um, let's go and design the torso. Some of the stuff will overlap, but that is okay. You'll see what I mean in a second. So let's design the torso. Um, you can draw along with me if you like. I'm using a Wacom tablet to do this, which makes things a lot easier. So again, if you don't have access to something like a Wacom tablet, that's completely understandable um, because you know not everybody has access to one or Wacom or whatever you want to call it. Wacom tablet. Um, let's do the bicep next. Now, this is a little bit, I've done this a billion times, so I know kind of roughly where the positions need to be, but you might want to experiment a little bit um, to see what kind of proportions work for you. Um, there's no guarantee actually this will work. This is a lot of guesstimation, so you'll see what I mean in a sec, but hopefully the proportions are correct in terms of, uh, this is just me. I, I just really like drawing the pelvis and the torso together. Um, so I'm just going to turn this off so you can see what I'm doing. The torso, I'm just going to draw like this. Ah, oh, no. It's very boxy, but you get the idea. Give him a belt. You can stylize this however you like. This is just a particular style that I'm going for right now. Um, all right, I'll turn off these guys. So turn off. Let's turn on. I'll make this the thigh. 
Um, as you can see, I'm just keeping things fairly simple. Uh, I've slightly run out of room. It's not good. It's always good to plan these things with room. <laughs> I might make it. A, I might make them a bit shorter. Okay. Calf. And I like to give it a little bit of a ankle. You might not use it all, but this is sort of like the sock, if you like, that it plugs into. And um, a shoe. Now this, the shoe, I generally like to draw overlapping and make sure it's flat and not at an angle. Um, Cause otherwise the walk cycle will look a bit odd. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, I just label these things. Now it's important to label these things so you know what's what when you go to After Effects. Um, I think it's actually really important that you make sure you label your stuff in general, but you know, I am the label. I am the label Nazi. I think it's always important that you label your stuff. Now I know if you've noticed I've only just done one side, um, but that's on purpose because I'm actually not gonna try and duplicate both sides. I'm actually just going to do one side and that's the left side because we're just going to duplicate these lines uh, in After Effects um, for the right side because essentially they are the same lines. We're just using the same bits and pieces to create this character. Um, the only difference I will make is that I'll make a duplicate of this hand and just because you can't exactly fake this on this side. Oops. There we go. Just gonna put him over here. This is a bit harder to fake on this side. So, and it's only because from experience I've noticed that it doesn't look as good if you don't do it properly. So, just the inside of the hand doesn't, it's just a bit harder to fake. I mean, you could just do whatever you like, but this is just, my particular preference of just, um, I like to give him a decent looking hand on this side. All right, okay, let's make that right hand and I'm gonna pull that to the top. Cool. Um, all right, so that does it for that guy. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna crop him so that we only need exactly what we need. Yeah. Just, just to make the file a bit a teensy bit smaller, not a lot smaller, but just something manageable. Um, and we'll take out this layer because we don't need it. It's just so we could see what the heck we're doing. Yes. Okay guys, well, uh, that pretty much wraps up part one. Um, I'm gonna continue this in another video, uh, basically talking through how to make the character, rig the character in After Effects and then eventually animate it. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next part. Thank <music> you.